Hello folks, Simon here. Welcome back to the channel. I mentioned earlier that Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster now has an official release date and it's the 23rd of February, so in fact two weeks from the publishing of this video. Along with the release date, Square have also given us a number of new screenshots. Now what you're actually looking at here is an image taken from the SNES version of Final Fantasy VI. So have a good look at that. Make sure your eyes get used to how the game looked back then. And now I'm going to show you a screenshot from exactly the same location that Square have released. Uh, but this is for the Pixel Remaster, of course. And it does look very, very different at initial glance. Now, I do believe that the world map, the textures and the background for the world map here is exactly the same. I think Square have just pulled that into the Pixel Remaster. Everything's pretty much the same there as it was in the original game. The first notable thing, though, is that the Pixel Remaster looks to be far more vibrant. They've really rammed the uh, the saturation up here and the brightness. The, the greens of the fields are far more pronounced than they were in the original game. And this image here, having looked at the Pixel Remaster, you might be tempted to think that the SNES image has been toned down or something, or that it's been darkened. It hasn't. This is an actual image as it existed from the SNES version of the game. And it's just that the Pixel Remaster appears to be much, much brighter. I do believe the character models themselves have been redrawn. But if that is the case, then they remain very faithful to the originals, as they're basically indistinguishable, as you can see. I'm just going to pop these two images next to each other so you can get a good look at them both. What do you folks think about the enhanced brightness and vibrancy of the Pixel Remaster in comparison to the original? Do you think Square have overdone it there? Or do you think it brings a much needed level of, of depth to the experience? Please do let us know in the comments because that is quite a radical change actually. Now I'm not saying I don't like it, I'm just saying it is quite a big change. I do like the new drawn world map. I think the locations in yellow is going to make them far more distinguishable from the background than the previous grey on grey. And the actual style of the map has pretty much been kept the same. It's just obviously been redrawn. It's now a little bit more resolute. So no complaints from me on that. I think that one area that is going to get some criticism is if we head to the next screenshot, the text. Now, this is the font that was used in the previous Pixel Remasters. This sort of squashed up text here and it was not well received it really wasn't it got a lot of hate online i'm surprised with the additional delay that final fantasy 6 has been given over these last few weeks that square didn't do something about this but i guess it would have just been a lot of additional work and they just wanted to have some sort of consistency amongst all the pixel remasters the battles themselves look absolutely beautiful as you can see I do love the enhanced character models. They're actually completely redrawn, as I mentioned. And I think they look really, really good. I do, with the other Pixel Remasters as well, think the same. And yeah, you know, I like the new backgrounds as well. If we compare this to an original battle screen, different enemies, but you get the idea. Uh, you can see that they've kept the same style with the backgrounds and that, but they are new. And the additional vibrancy is not as noticeable in the battles, I think, because they're using those new uh, backgrounds there so it's really made for those and even though the text is generally despised everything pretty much does look crisp as you would expect for a remaster so here are your two battle images side by side you can make that comparison and it's also worth mentioning that they do have the auto battle toggle thingy turned on on the pixel remaster so that is a feature that you can do in this game, just as you could, I believe, with the previous Pixel Remasters as well. Of course, it wasn't part of the original Final Fantasy VI. So let's go ahead and cycle through the other screenshots here. And next battle screen. I am a big fan of these new pre-rendered backgrounds, I've got to say. And here we have the airship with a full complement of crew. We've got a, a good look at one of the menus here with the summons. Uh, we've got the world map again. And yeah, this is, you know, this is quite a big change. This is, this is the opera scene, of course, a very famous scene from Final Fantasy VI. And it's really been given the Octopath Traveler 2.5D overhaul here. It did not look like this in the original. And for comparison purposes, here is an image from the SNES version of the opera scene here in Final Fantasy VI. 
And you can definitely see that they've re they have put a lot of effort here in the Pixel Remaster for this particular scene. I wonder why they chose to do so for this scene, but not for the rest of the game. I suppose just because this is such an iconic scene, they wanted to do something special for it. But would you have liked to have seen this treatment for the whole game? Or do you think that it works best just to highlight this particular scene and perhaps other important scenes throughout the experience? So we focused on the graphics up until this point, but there are a couple of other things worth mentioning. First of all, the soundtrack is getting an overhaul. It's going to be rearranged under the supervision of none other than Nobuo Uematsu. So I'm very excited to listen to that and see how it sounds. I do love the music to Final Fantasy VI. One thing I want to know, and I know a lot of you do as well, is this version of the game going to include the additional content that was not part of the original SNES release? Obviously, I want it in. I know a lot of you folks want it in. Square haven't told us if it's going to be in, so we just don't know. Unfortunately, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I don't think the previous Pixel Remasters did include any of the additional content or dungeons that were part of their later releases after their original NES and SNES releases. So I'm not going to hold out any high hopes that we're going to get any of the additional content for Final Fantasy VI. But then a part of me is thinking, well, you know, the game has taken an extra few weeks, an extra few months, maybe square, listen to feedback and got that content put into the game. We'll have to wait and see. But folks, are you excited for Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster? Please let me know in the comments if you are going to be buying and playing the game when it comes out on February 23rd. I will be, so if you want to follow along with my playthrough, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. And you can follow me over at Twitter at FuzzFinger01. Until next time, take care guys.